Yes, Faiza, it was certainly an interesting long weekend here in Toronto. The city is now in stage three, so more businesses have reopened. Indoor dining is now open. Gyms and fitness clubs are now open. So how did it all go? Well, we checked in with a number of local businesses to find out. The first weekend back at the gym after almost five months. And there's no doubt Torontonians were eager to return. To be honest, we've been getting emails for the, the whole time during quarantine this way. When are we come back? When can we come back? With strict safety precautions in place, Body by Chosen reopened this weekend, limiting capacity to just 10 people, including trainers, and they've been booked solid since Friday. We could tell that this month is probably going to be a very, very good month based on the emails we've been receiving and the, the feedback we've been getting so far. Good Life clubs are able to accommodate the 50-person limit as permitted by law. Since Friday at midnight, they tell us 150,000 workouts have been booked for the coming week, and that's just at their 46 Toronto and Peel clubs. Anytime you can fill the Air Canada Centre about eight times, uh, you know you've got members that are excited to come back. A promising sales uptick after this long weekend. And with more Canadians looking for the contactless gym experience, they say online sales have increased dramatically. A busy weekend too at restaurants across the city with indoor dining now permitted. But sales are still far from what they used to be. The Pint Public House has room for 1,000 people and they're only allowed 100. We are located right next to the uh, Rogers Centre, so we get all those massive uh, rushes for uh, Blue Jays games. We're not getting any of that right now. Meantime, some restaurants are happy sticking to outdoor dining for now. We haven't jumped to phase three yet. I'd say we're kind of at phase two and a half. Parallel in the city's west end will be using their indoor space as a backup in case it rains. We haven't opened inside yet. Because of the uncertainty, we, we don't know what will be in two weeks. Will there be a second wave or third? Um, hiring people and letting them go. Uh, the whole setup is takes time. They'll be down from 70 seats to 35 once they do reopen the inside and have created barriers between tables. So we're trying to again balance uh, takeout and delivery which support us a lot and the store which support us and dine-in also. So it's, it's a new world for, for restaurants. So what are the risks associated with going to a gym or eating indoors? Well, ahead on City News, we speak with an epidemiologist and we also ask him if Toronto should expect to see a spike in case counts in the weeks ahead. Toronto is now in stage three, but it's certainly not business as usual. You can now dine indoors and head out to the gym, but there are risks involved. And experts say you need to take a number of precautions to prevent contracting or spreading COVID-19. Well, you need to imagine that anyone you're standing near who or sitting near who isn't wearing a mask is a risk to you directly. So you want to make sure you're not positioned anywhere close to anybody at all uh, who's not wearing a mask, who's not in your bubble. You want to look and see where ventilation is. And, uh, and, and if there isn't adequate ventilation, then maybe, again, that's not a place that you should be. Um, are there opportunities to sit outside? Can you limit the amount of time that you're there? Colin Furness is an epidemiologist and professor with the University of Toronto. He expects to see a rise in cases as the province forges ahead with loosening coronavirus measures. Furness isn't recommending anyone rush to a restaurant for a dine-in meal anytime soon. And some experts point to Ottawa's numbers as a cause for concern. That city has seen case counts almost double since they moved into stage three.